Toy House ich die, Toy House ich die, it's Toy House ich die. Wow, I had so many requests for this. I actually found a really, really old footage of me making pancake into Tom cake. So sorry this video is so late. But what I'm first gonna do is just take pancake out of the box and I'm just gonna take her hair out. So you see the doll already has a lot of some permanent waves and curls to the hair. Honestly, it's really hard to brush them straight. So for pancake, I actually decide to cut the hair really, really, really short. Because it was so hard to straighten out all the curls. All the shoppies are a little different with the way that they style their hair. So the roots are all a little bit different. I know there's probably some good ways to get this hair straight, but I just wanted to keep this process pretty simple. What I also did is I rinsed it with water to try to get some of the hair gel out. Okay, now it looks a little better. So, the fun part is you get to play stylist. I kind of just look at the doll and I just kind of see what its haircut should be. Now, I kind of had an idea that because Pancake is tanned, that maybe I wanted to make like a surfer dude. So, I just cut the hair really, really short. And also, the main reason that I cut it really short is because that braid on the side was very, very prominent. No matter what I did, I could not get it out. At one point, I thought I should keep the bangs, but he kind of still looks like a girl at this point. So I decided to cut out the bangs and straighten it up a little. And you're just going to have to style it and see. It's all kind of just personal preference. And of course, what works with the doll's hair. Now, I cut off a lot of the blonde hair because I wanted the purple part to show up more, especially on camera. But you didn't have to cut it this short. Okay, so now Pancake still looks like a girl with short hair. So this is what I do with pretty much every boy shoppy. Just take a Q-tip and nail polish remover and gently just rub the eyelashes off. Be careful, a little goes a long way and you could end up with a dent in the eye. So I would just slowly work from the outside towards the inside. And if you do kind of make a mistake, it's okay. You can always use a sharpie or some black paint and cover it up. Sometimes what happens is that you rub off the other colors on the doll. So try not to use too much acetone. And let's take the lips off. You can probably paint it back with like a peach color. But I, I think it looks okay just like this. And to kind of give them their own personality, I'm just going to take off the eyebrows. And now this kind of starts to look like a boy. So I kept the hair a little spiky. Now, like I said, these shoppies all have different types of hair, believe it or not. And I think Jesse Cake's hair is a little more even and it's also a little more fluffy so I was able to keep Jessie's hair longer and straight but I just could not get this hairstyle on Pancake or Tom Cake so you're just gonna have to work with the doll and just play around with it see what you like and here's proof that it is Jessie Cake Okay, so now for the clothes. I'm a little scared to show this part because honestly, I'm not the best sewer. What I did is I just took a scrap piece of t-shirt 
and I just kind of traced around the body to make a small shirt. Okay, you don't have to use a sharpie for this, but I did that for the camera. Okay, now let's cut this out. Actually, you can't see that I actually have two layers, so I'm doing two pieces. So this part might be a little confusing, but you only need to sew where I'm pointing right now. And you want to make sure to leave the openings so the arm and the body can go through. Well, I'm just going to loosely follow the lines. As you can see, I'm not the best sewer in the world. I'm not an expert in doll clothes or doll making at all. Oh, and here I'm done. And I'm just gonna trim off all this excess fabric here. Just be careful not to cut your thread. And you can make your t-shirt as long or as short as you want. Okay, and I'm just gonna make a neck. You could probably make a V-neck here if you want. Now just flip the shirt around. And you can just use the back of a brush to help push the arms through. So I struggled a little bit with one of the arms. But that's okay, once I get it on the doll, I'm just gonna sew it back up. Now you might not want to see this part, but I actually have to take the head off so that I can put the t-shirt on. And I struggled a little bit here. Just because the shirt I made is so small. Let's pop the head back on. So another trick that I use is that I just take a Barbie or actually Ken clothes and I modify it to fit the shoppies. Here I have a beach trunk. This is for Ken. Mark where I think it'll fit the shoppie. And sew it up. And cut off the excess, flip it around. There you go! So that's my little trick for modifying full-size Barbie or Ken clothes. Now let's paint the eyebrow. I'm just gonna use a similar color. This is acrylic. You can use watercolor, but it will rub off. And I'm just gonna use a thicker brush. And make some thick eyebrows to give him a different look. You can fix it while the paint is still wet. You can paint the name on or I actually just used a Sharpie. And there you go! Here is our little Tom cake. This is pretty much the same process to make all the other boy Sharpies. Thank you, bye! Toy House HD, Toy House HD, it's Toy House HD. Comment, like, and share, and subscribe before you go. Toy House HD, Toy House HD.